Aqueous Pharmaceuticals, a Canadian publicly traded company at a major inflection point. Let's hear from two of the co-founders. Great, so tell us about Aqueous Pharmaceuticals. Thanks, Ed. Uh, Aqueous is a rapidly growing specialty pharma company based in Canada. Uh, it's a small company today, but in a short time frame since our founding, we've developed uh, three proprietary uh, pipeline products focused on ophthalmology and neurology. We have an infrastructure in Canada to sell drugs. We currently have two drugs on the market that are generating revenues, growing quickly. We've been able to in-license uh, branded pharmaceuticals out of the U.S., specifically in the epilepsy space, from sophisticated U.S. players that we're now bringing through Health Canada approval. And you know, the company is, a, is, is an experienced management team that has all had success at the highest levels of, of drug development and, and, and the pharmaceutical industry, and we're applying those skill sets here to, to our model at, at Aquis. Fantastic. And how do you develop that pipeline? How do you come up with these new drugs, in? Yeah, so we have a, a pipeline right now that includes both a development and a commercial arm. And the common thread throughout is we're looking for differentiated products that actually provide a benefit to patients and physicians. So before, for our development programs, for example, before we spend a single dollar on development, we've already spoken to hundreds of physicians and really validated a commercial concept and a product profile. Um, we then go and, and, and develop that product to meet those needs. Um, what we look for are products that um, you know, may be limited by compliance, for example, with patients, where if they miss a dose, they're at a significant risk of, um, of some sort of event, uh, which led us very quickly into the psychiatry and epilepsy space, for example. Um, if you think about psychiatry, it's an area where um, if a patient is dosed every day with uh, an oral tablet, um, if they miss an oral dose, um, they're at risk of relapsing into having a psychotic episode. Um, that psychotic episode could then lead into rehospitalization. Um, what we've developed is a once weekly transdermal formulation for that same once a day oral tablet, providing a specific patient population with a great solution there. We've built a whole pipeline of products around that transdermal uh, platform technology, um, and we've been leveraging that um, to, to build out a commercial infrastructure that complements those products in Canada. Another unique feature of Aquis is, you know, despite only in public for two years, we already have products on the market. Um, as co-founders, one of the main drivers for us with the business was to have it as profitable as quickly as possible. We've been major funders to date, and we wanted to approach Aquis as a, as a business case. That was our thesis, as, as an investment thesis, not as a, a scientific thesis. And we discovered you know, in past jobs that you know, there's mispricing in the Canadian market. It's, a, it's overlooked, it's a small market, Let's be clear, Canada's a small revenue market for pharmaceutical products, but it's an efficient market. 80% mm -hmm. of Canadians live in five cities, six cities. So while you're not gonna generate large revenues in Canada, you generate high margins. And as a major shareholder, that's attractive to us. So we have two products launched to date. We expect additional commercial products this year. And our goal is to be you know, achieving sales of 50 million uh, with better than 50% margins by 2020. So while we're a small business today, we're confident and clear on how we can become a, a medium-sized business in the not-too-distant future. Wow, that's, that's really, really exciting. I mean, being a publicly traded company in this niche market of Canada, I'm sure you're always looking towards the future. So that future revenue projection, and what are some of the other future things you're looking out at today? You know, as Anne mentioned, most, pretty well every decision we make starts with talking to clinicians, talking to payers, understanding where a need for a product is and, and how that need could be met. And with us now interfacing with ophthalmologists and neurologists every day, our sales force, you know, we have identified a number of additional products we can add into that space, both commercial and others that are, are, are development focused. Mm -hmm. So we have a, that development pipeline, we have global rights to those assets, and, and we're developing a, a, a really focused commercial presence in Canada in the areas of neurology and ophthalmology. Mm -hmm. And I saw recently you announced a, uh, a cannabinoid uh, transdermal delivery formulation specifically for epilepsy and MS. I mean, that's been a really, really hot space in the Canadian market. So tell us more about that. Yeah, so the, the, the background there, how we initially got introduced to this program was uh, in speaking to some epileptologists about some of our other development programs. Um, and, you know, it was their concern around patients having access to this uniquely regulated product in the Canadian context where 
Um, it's it's more it's very recently become uh, legal for uh, manufacturers to supply directly to patients, uh, and will soon be available for more of the recreational uses. But from the medical side, physicians have become a little bit concerned uh, around the the quality of the product that that patients are getting directly from dispensaries. So there's very little control in terms of dosing, um, consistency of dosing, the quality of the product that is actually being delivered through these through these uh, different um, forms that are available right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, sounds really exciting. And I saw you did a financing recently off the back of that news. Yeah, we are a public company. We have symbols AQS on the, the Toronto Stock Exchange, the, the Venture Exchange. Uh, you know, we've had a long history of of building businesses in the Canadian capital markets in the biotech space. So with our interest now of, of, of providing scientific solutions um, to neurological conditions, perhaps with cannabinoids, uh, certainly we believe we can add better routes of delivery, more effective, more optimized routes of delivery than inhaling or smoking or ingesting. And you know, I think people were excited about you know, a real pharmaceutical company good at development and and basic delivery science coming into the cannabinoid space. Mm -hmm. Fantastic, I mean, really exciting. Real science, well-funded, tremendous upside. How do viewers get more information? You can go to our website. It's www.aqueouspharma.ca. Fantastic. Doug, and thank you so much for coming into the studio and sharing some of your thoughts with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Edward Carr on behalf of the Global Biotech Network in conjunction with Dukascopy TV. Stay tuned for future interviews.